Hello, people. Xanthocory is here with a new set of tutorials, and it has been way too long. Way too long. Oh my god, it's been months since I've done a tutorial. An official tutorial, I should say the least. I've done videos, but obviously my YouTube channel has just gone down in shit, basically, because I haven't done anything productive. Um, so, we're going to see how this goes with Adobe After Effects and see what kind of views I get and what people think of it. If it's good, we'll keep going. If not, uh, we'll scrap it. Uh, much like we do with the C++ tutorials. Fuck you. Alright, um, we're basically going to start with an intro. Oh, wait, before I start, I need to ask you guys, um, if this does go somewhere, I need, like, raw footage of stuff. If you have that not in use, and I can have, like, the ownership of that, message me on YouTube and say, like, hey, I have a little clip, uh, you could use this during a tutorial, I'll upload it to you, and I'll be like, okay, thank you very much, and we'll go on from there. But, uh, that is highly appreciated today, we're gonna do a little intro on how to make composition and go through a little bit of the tools, not much, um, just a little intro, get you to get me ready for the future of this, if there is to be any. Um, let's start with the basic layout here. Right here, um, you get a lot, it's called projects, so you know, you can kind of figure out what this means. You, all, all your project files are saved here, your compositions, your images, your video clips, your effects, everything like that. The composition right here is what's actually going on during, um, what's actually like happening. Um, don't know how I'm explaining that. Uh, we'll go more into that later. Time controls, it's always going to control the time and the time, every, everything down here that deals with uh, your project time and camera stuff like that. We'll also get into that soon enough. Um, character is just pretty much a text font, um, much like anything else, Word, Open Office, stuff like that. Regular bold italic, you know, all that good shit. Color, you can use the eyedropper to get a specific color. And the effects and presets, but once again we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, up here is a workspace thing. Um, this is very important. Um, during the tutorials we will be using a standard workspace. Um, just to keep everyone on the same page and everyone happy and not confused about what's going on. But there is also other ones um, where you know you can choose from these if it helps you. Um, I usually stick with either the all panels when I'm in higher resolution or I either stick with standard when I'm doing tutorials. So that's where we stand. Um, I may drag some of these little boxes around to uh, make everything better but you get the point. Maybe I won't be. That's a good start. Alright, so let's start with the basic start, I guess. Um, first thing you're going to do is... Hold on a second. I'm not happy with this being like this, but I guess it's not completely relevant right now. Okay, um, the thing we're going to start with is making a new composition. So you, as you can see, like even if you were to try to use it, you can't do anything. Everything's like blacked out and I mean grayed out. You can't click on anything. Everything's just useless right now. So let's get started. We want to open up a new composition and now we're going to call this this is like your main composition. This is what everything goes into. Um, this is a very important part. I usually call it the master comp if I can spell. Um, just to get like the name out there. Usually one word. Um, and then you can select everything from right here. Widescreen. Um, I haven't really played play with widescreen very much. I'm sure it's decent, but uh, for the most part, we're going to be sticking with NTSC DV or NTSC D1. Maybe widescreen sometimes, but uh, maybe HDTV if we feel like making something good. Anything like that. Um, I'm pretty much going to be sticking with this or this. So, uh, or 320 by 240 for a web video. I haven't used that yet, but sure it's decent because this whole program is awesome. Right now we're doing 720 by 480. Um, you can change these so it just goes custom of what you want. The two are linked together. If you want to unlock that so you can move them separately like have that and that and that. If, if you link them together they move at the same pace so it keeps kind of a same square video. But like I said we're going to be sticking with that. Um, down here you kind of get into uh, nothing that important yet. Uh, it's just kind of like the widescreen and the ratios. I'm sticking with this once again. Um, frames per second, we're going to keep it 29.97, that's standard. And resolution, full half quarter, that's pretty much up to you. Um, I keep it full usually. And the time limit duration, um, 
It's kind of like the time limit of your video. I think you can go back and edit this, but not exactly sure. I would sure hope you could. I'm pretty sure you can. Or if you need to add more compositions, you can do that. Um, so with that said, we have our composition made, and we are ready to rock and roll. Um, let's see what time we at. Five minutes? Okay, that's not too bad. Um, let's see. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Let's go ahead and import some files, I guess, then. Um, if you go to File, Import, you can either import file or multiple files. Um, very to, very to, that's, that's great English. Um, these are two very good uh, ways of importing files. Um, multiple files, I use that quite a bit. Um, I had stuff saved somewhere, but, you know, let's just do an image. Um, hmm. I have no idea what that is, so let's use that. And since I did multiple images, you know, um, I, you can see that the close has been turned to a, uh, I mean, I mean the cancel has been turned to a done. So uh, once you're done, let's go ahead and put another one in there, just show that. We'll uh, do me and Ducky. Open and done. So now we have two images in there. Um, that's the basic way to import files. I don't want to get into starting the project exactly yet, so we're going to hold off on that for a few minutes, but uh, I guess I could show you the composition. Ooh. All right. Oh God, that that was something I shouldn't have put in there. <laughs> Whoa, that was not me and Ducky. All right, uh, we're, we're just gonna put this down in here. Um, that that's just a screenshot from Gary's mod. Um, I do believe that is all my friends. Blood everywhere. I probably shot them. Um, but that's basically what the composition does. From here, you can resize the image. If I can click on it well enough, which I can't. Oh, that's great. Come on, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Hold that thought. Okay, yeah, so, uh, it fucking crashed. But, um, what I was basically trying to get my point across is that you can resize this right here, if you can still see. I hope you can. And, uh, that's basically all I wanted to do for this. Uh, we'll get more into the composition in, uh, video making later but uh, that that will do it for this first tutorial which has decided to end itself how appropriate um, I'd like to thank you for watching um, if this goes well more tutorials to come as you can see it's going great right now but um, other than that I would like to thank you for watching and this is Exanto Cory with Adobe After Effects intro tutorial 1 Later, guys. Peace out. Whatever you want me to say, Santa Corey's signing out. Peace.